Hey everybody. Out in the messy garage today. If you've been following along with us for a little while, you know that we got this thing to uh, help with plowing our driveway and also getting stuff out done around the house and also for Braley's riding enjoyment because she loves vehicle rides like this. Me and Braley, last time we were plowing, we're out here just plowing away. Uh, the plow fell off. One of the bo bolts either broke or just fell out. I can't find one of the bolts. I'm gonna see if I can find something that I have because uh, I don't think I'm gonna get up the driveway currently with how much snow came on the ground. And then the plow came through like the city plow. Created a drift at the bottom of the hill. That's not too bad. Might be able to get over it with the van. I don't know. But either way, I'm gonna try to fix this plow. I, it's just my luck with snow removal. I don't know. Maybe I'm just supposed to be shoveling. I don't know. This guy is broke. This guy's broken down. Planning on fixing that and selling that eventually. Uh, when I find a warm air in time, but for now I need to get this done. We go get Braley soon, so I better get to it. And then this, I think, came from here. I think I'm missing one of these, so I'm gonna see if I have anything similar in my uh, treasure box. I'm gonna call it a treasure box. It's really just a garage junk drawer. Hey, look at this, right on top though. I might be able to uh, utilize whatever this is for. I don't know what this is for. I think this is for the small plow that I have, the extra pieces I came with. I'm gonna try these, see what happens. That's pretty cool, using my camera, multi-use camera here, using it to uh, be able to see how far, how low I got. Look at that. Innovation. Got it, did it, man. Today's gonna be a good day. Let's do this. Doing work, I'm telling you. Woo! Woo! I didn't do it all because I want Bradley to enjoy the ride too after we go get her. She loves plowing snow. So happy I got that fixed. <sighs> it's a good day. Start of a new week. The weekend was semi-eventful. We actually went to our second hockey game. I don't think he even recorded when we went to the first hockey game. But we went to another hockey game. Brilly's really enjoying hockey. Just watching her enjoyment of it was fantastic. And she gets so hyped when we're there. I think it's just because of all the energy, the hockey energy.
just hockey fans around here. I know some of you are hockey fans too. Uh, yesterday, it was pretty much a laid back day, getting stuff done around the house. Braylee did help with packing her Valentine's for her class. That was pretty cool. These are Braylee's Valentine's this year. We custom made them and they are adorable. Almost, Braley. Then you just gotta twist them together. Oh, happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Uh, if Valentine's Day is not that great for you, and then not happy Valentine's Day. Now, I think it's time to go get Braley here shortly. Video update of the igloo, it's still standing. It's got some cracks, but it's still standing. Nothing like a good, fresh set of snow. Made it home from school, now we're enjoying some plowing, Humby. That was fun. Brother was actually having a bit of a hard time coming back from school, and I would have to say that the Ranger did its job. Then about five minutes of driving, maybe even less than that, she was calm. We were starting to have fun and stuff. I think we were going to melt. It was like, we were headed toward a meltdown for sure. But me and Brayley decided to go off-roading a little bit. I got stuck out there, plowed myself out. As you can see, <laughs> the snow is a lot deeper than I thought it was. <laughs> Oh boy. I didn't have the, I didn't pick up the camera while we were trying to get out of there. She was so funny. She was trying to like rock, rock through it, through it, you know? She was having fun for sure. That was a fun off-road experience. Maybe next time I'll bring the GoPro. Moving on with the day, we're getting ready. It's, it's Valentine's Day. We have a double date. And we're going to go and uh, have a nice little Valentine's evening. Um, we do have to make it, cut it short though. We have to get back and I have to get work done. We gotta be up early tomorrow. We've got a big day tomorrow. We'll talk about it later. Norton got himself a Valentine's Day toy. Right, buddy? Oh, and in the toy box. <laughs> Throw it. I gotta get ready. <laughs> I'm not ready for Valentine's Day. Should I wear my matching plaid shirt? <laughs> we could. 
I'll, mean, I'll wear my gray one. You can do whatever you want, but... I'll wear my gray one. The school bus has acted as a good calm down, avoid meltdown item, but it's broken. So this was like... The replacement? I think it's the motion. Yeah. I think it's the motion. And then also we're pushing around snow. Yep. Her favorite thing in the world. And then in the summertime, the wind on her face. She's going to love that. She loves wind on her face. As much as I love winter, I'm I'm ready for summer. Actually, I'm ready spring. for spring. I'm, ready for I'm spring. not ready I was for like, summer. No, you're jumping too far ahead, buddy. <laughs> like we I've already been thinking about like, oh, we could have some pool parties with some of Braley's new friends this summer, and like, we're way more settled this summer than we were last summer. Well, yeah. You know, and our pool will be up for longer. We kind of know more about what's going on, and just the end of winter. I get like really excited for spring. Like I've started seeing more squirrels and hearing the birds out and I'm like, yes, it's almost springtime. We love winter, but here in Minnesota, we get just a little bit more of it. And so at some point, I think everybody, especially us, as much as we love winter, we get to that point where you're just ready for spring. You won't wear these, you can wear them. Really like, I never want spring time. Yes, she does, because then she can be outside <laughs> swinging. She doesn't like being inside all the time, and she loves the outdoors. We do get outdoor a lot in winter, but there's just a lot of the days where it's just too cold. She's been singing Mr. Sun a lot lately. Maybe that's her way of saying she's ready for spring, too. <laughs> Mr. Sun. Did you turn on your record? Yeah, good job turning on your record. We just got a, uh, sounds like you, uh... She changed the record too? Yeah, all by herself. Good job, Brayley. I'm so proud of you. She's wanted some music. That's awesome. Some Frozen. I like that she can choose her own music. Yeah. I'm so proud of her though. Dinner was fantastic. It was very, uh... Red Robin-ish, good, good, good Red Robin food. Good time spent there. Braley tried an onion for the first time. That was nuts. That's literally the first time she's ever had an onion. She just went for it, really. Yeah, nobody asked. We just kind of handed her an onion ring. She picked it out of the, like, batter. And I ate the onion, not even, like, accidentally bit into it through the She batter. ate the whole thing. Yeah. I don't know if I got it on video or not. It was such a good job there. We tried a second one, but she didn't want a second one, but. Yeah. Good old mac and cheese and fries though. Yeah, Whew. Your favorites. And now, it's bedtime. Yeah. Nice uh, regular day today and not a regular day tomorrow. Tomorrow is evaluation day two, where we do it in person. That begins in the morning. Good night. Good night. Sweet dreams. Good night. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for sharing with us. We love you. Good night. Work time. I got I got to work on work because I'm trying to find as much sleep as I can tonight for evaluation day. An in, in-clinic evaluation. Thank you for watching our video and the videos. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for commenting and talking with us. We'll see you next time.